Hello students, uh, in this uh, lecture video we will discuss about directivity of arrays. Okay. So directivity is nothing but uh, how the array component converts the maximum field component at a particular direction. Okay. This is the basic fundamental about what is the directivity. And here for the derivation of directivity, we have been discuss about uh, how to find the directivity for broadside array as well as n file array. Right. So here first we will discuss about how to derive directivity of a broadside array. So the directivity formula is equal to maximum radiation intensity by average radiation intensity that is u max by u average. So this can be written as u max by u naught where uh, u naught is equal to power radiated by 4 pi. So power radiated calculation can be done by taking this expression integral pi is equal to 0 to 2 pi that is azimuth angle and elevation angle theta is equal to 0 to pi and modulus of E of theta comma pi whole squared sin theta d theta d pi. So first we have to calculate what is u naught and then we have to substitute this expression then we will get what is the derivative of broad side array. So u naught is equal to what is this radiated power by 4 pi. So radiated power expression is this we have to divide this by 4 pi so it will be 1 by 4 pi integral pi is equal to 0 to 2 pi integral over theta is equal to 0 to pi modulus of e theta of uh, comma pi whole squared sin theta d theta d pi. So we have to uh, integrate this expression first with respect to theta and the pi and we will find out what is u naught and we will get what is the total directivity. So from the expression of ratio of magnitudes we can write E t by E naught is equal to n. So this already we have derived in the uh, total field component of n element. So where E t is equal to n times E naught and for normalization the condition for uh, getting a maximum power E naught is equal to 1. So we have E t is equal to n. So modulus of E t is equal to n. So E normalize is equal to E t by E t max. So it will be E naught by n times E naught. So it will be 1 by n. Hence the field is given by normalize equal to sin n psi by 2 by n sin psi by 2 where psi is equal to beta d cos theta. So we are here we have taken alpha is equal to 0 because no progressive phase shift we are dealing broadside array. So E is equal to 1 by n of sin n beta d cos theta by 2 by sin beta d cos theta by 2 just we have expressed what is sin. Sin is equal to beta d cos theta so we have to substitute over here. So assuming d is very small as compared to the length of the array if it is n number of elements the d is nothing but distance between the elements so when compared with the length as well as the distance between the element where d is very small so sin of beta d cos theta by 2 can be written as beta d cos theta by 2. So we have substituted this expression in this u naught is equal to 1 by 4 pi uh, integral pi is equal to 0 to 2 pi and integral theta is equal to 0 to pi. And this is the field we have sin n beta d cos theta by 2 by n beta d cos theta by 2 whole squared sin theta d theta d by. So here first I am going to differentiate uh, sorry integrate the d pi. So if we integrate d pi it becomes pi. Then here I am going to take this as uh, n beta d by 2 cos theta can be written as z. So just we are going to simplify this. So if you substitute this is z then we have sin z by z. Okay, so this is the form. So we have taken z is equal to n by 2 beta d cos theta. From this, if we differentiate this, dz is equal to minus n by 2 beta d sin theta d theta. Right, so sin theta d theta here we have, so we have to replace this term by dz by n by 2 beta d. So that is the modification we have to do. So when theta is equal to pi, the limit z is equal to minus n by 2 beta d. Where theta is equal to 0, the limit z is equal to n by 2 beta d. So substitute these limits then uh, if you simplify this expression we have u naught is equal to 1 by n beta d integral mi uh, minus infinity plus infinity sin z by z whole square dz. What is this integral of uh, minus infinity in plus infinity sin z by z whole square this is nothing but pi. So this expression this uh, here we have we can replace this total term by pi. So we have pi by n beta d. So where now we have got u naught is equal to pi by n beta d. So substitute in this previous e equation. So we have uh, we will get the what is the uh, total directivity of broadside array, right? 
So now the derivative equation is equal to u max by u naught. So I am considering maximum field is equal to 1 because we have taken normalized value. So 1 by pi by n beta d. So now this expression can be written as n beta d by pi and here beta is equal to 2 pi pi lambda. So now we have substituted this over here. Then we have n into 2 pi pi lambda. This is the beta value into d by pi. So if you cancel this pi and pi, we have uh, 2 times n into d by lambda. So 2n d by lambda. So the total length of array, if you take L is equal to n minus 1 into d or if it is equal to n into d, then we can replace this n d can be replaced by L. So the directivity of broadside array is equal to 2L by lambda. So this is uh, broadside array. Now we have to discuss about what is the broad directivity of n fire array. So directivity is equal to u max by u naught as we know already. Then u max equal to 1. Then u naught already we have calculated the pi by 2n beta d. If we substitute this, we will get 2n beta d by pi. And here pi by will be cancelled. 2 will become uh, 2 into 2 will be 4. So it will be 4l by lambda. So this is the directivity for n fire array. So when compared with the directivity of broadside array, it is 2l by lambda. Directivity of n fire array is 4l by lambda. Where from this we can understand that the directivity of n fire array is higher than directivity of broadside array because, because here we have 4L by lambda. And this is the comparison of broadside array and n fire array. So whereas broadside array is nothing but all uh, uh, where we have getting the radiation pattern perpendicular, here the radiation pattern is along the axis, here there is no progressive phase shift, it is equal to 0, here we have alpha is equal to minus beta d and this is the equation for uh, pattern maxima. And here the equation for the pattern minimas for both broadside array as well as n fire array. This is the expression for half per beam for broadside array and it is for n fire array half per beam Whereas we have directivity for broadside array 2L by lambda or n fire array 4L by lambda and beam width between personal is this and for this n fire array this is the beam width between personal and here uh, it is we know right all the all are equal magnitude and uh, same phase is the definition. So this also we can include for comparison and radiation pattern of broadside array is bidirectional here but here in the case of n fire array the radiation pattern is unidirection and the here for broadside array psi is equal to beta d cos theta plus alpha and now this becomes psi is equal to beta d cos theta because alpha is equal to 0 here beta d cos theta plus alpha and if you can find out alpha is equal to minus beta d then it becomes psi is equal to beta d of cos theta minus 1. So this is all about the comparison of n fire array broadside array as well as we have completed the directivity derivation for broadside array as well as n fire array. Thank you.